shaping the success, reinforcing the success of approximations of desired behavior. Isn't that everything you ever needed to know? Shaping is how you teach someone to do a new response, right? Uh, or a dog or anything like that. So you shape them, right? So what does that mean? Just think of an example, hot, cold game, right? So you're getting hotter, you're getting colder, you're getting hotter, you're getting colder. The getting hotter part is done when you get closer to the object or the location or the activity of whatever you're supposed to be doing. That is shaping, successive approximations. You're getting closer before you deliver the reinforcer, right? So if we're teaching a dog to rear onto their hind legs, the first thing you would want them to do is maybe just sit. You reinforce that. Next time you gotta go further, sit and then maybe lift a paw or lift them with both paws, whatever. So, but not all the way up, right? So when I taught Pixel to, to dance, to stand on their hind legs, it's this, this is the signal. So dance, right? So you don't have to use the words, you can use hand signal. Um, so anyway, like that. And the first thing Pixel would do be like, what? <laughs> Eventually I got her to sit doing that. It's a reinforcer. Next thing I did was sit on her hind leg, or get up a little bit, reinforcer, and you get up a little taller, reinforcer, and eventually all the way up here until she got her target behavior. So we're shaping. We're getting to that point by reinforcing each step along the way. The trick with shaping is never reinforcing a step that is previous to the steps from before. Does that make sense? I hope so. If not, ask questions. Don't go backwards with shaping. You'll ruin it. <laughs>